How's it going guys and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe it, I am finally monetized on YouTube. In today's video we're going to talk about how long it actually takes to be monetized on YouTube. We're going to run through Google AdSense and how that all works because we just had to talk about Google AdSense. And we're going to run through some helpful tips of what I actually did before I was even able to be monetized on YouTube and some secret little tips that you can use to get processed that much faster. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so first we're going to talk about the YouTube requirements that if you've started YouTube and you're interested in this kind of video, you probably should know what the YouTube requirements are, but we're going to run through exactly what those are and uh, just so you know what it takes to, to become monetized on YouTube. So the first and most important one is you need 1,000 subscribers to be monetized on YouTube. Now the cool thing about this is there's no time restriction on it. As long as you reach 1,000 subscribers, no matter when you do it, no matter how long it takes you, as long as you have reached 1,000 subscribers, then that will be included in the requirements. And the number two and the most important one is you need 4,000 watch hours. Now, if we calculate that into minutes, that is 240,000 minutes that you need in the last 365 days. So those 240,000 minutes or 4,000 watch hours need to be within the last 365 days. Now, unfortunately, if you manage to have a video go somewhat viral and you received a good amount of minutes on that, but they are without your last 365 days, unfortunately, YouTube will not include those towards your YouTube partnership program requirements. So you need to be very wary of the fact that it does need to be within the last 365 days. Uh, so remember that when you are applying for it, make sure that you are looking at the last 365 days so you don't get caught out on that little sneaky mistake that a lot of people do get caught out on. Now another thing that you need that a lot of people do seem to wait about this is you do need a Google AdSense account. Uh, basically what this is, is it's just an account through Google where they, they pay you. So you do need to have a Google AdSense account and this needs to be linked to your YouTube channel. Uh, you're only allowed one Google AdSense account. Now, if you do happen to have a blog or a website or something like that, uh, I would definitely recommend then having your AdSense account set up earlier, but we'll run through exactly how to do that very, very soon. Okay, so let's talk about how long it took me to uh, reach these requirements and kind of like what you guys can expect in order for it to take you to reach yours, or maybe if you're just really curious of how long it actually took me to reach these requirements. Uh, so for me, I started a YouTube channel, well, I started this channel in December 2019. Uh, I have done other channels in the past, but they didn't really go where I was hoping they would, uh, and in the end, I've ended up deleting those channels. Now, I started this channel as of December 2019, and I really started ramping into these videos about January 2019. As of today, it is April the 18th, 2020, and I have reached those requirements. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different than other people. For myself, I found that I reached the 1,000 subscribers very, very easily. Well, not very easily, but easier. But those 4,000 watch hours did take me quite a bit longer. I had my 1,000 subscribers within the first about three weeks, I would say, uh, and it's taken me from about February to April the 18th, which is today, to get those 4,000 watch hours. For whatever reason, uh, people did tend to subscribe to my channel, but they didn't seem to watch it as long. Now, there definitely are some really handy tips that you can use in order to make these watch hours uh, longer, and I'm going to run through those tips very soon. In regards to the AdSense, um, when I first started my YouTube channel, I did create a website, which is simplicitiesworld.com. Uh, link is always in the description if you do want to go ahead and check that out. But as you can see here, I definitely I sell my merch through that website. And uh, it's just another income stream where I kind of began my channel and wanted to make sure that I have multiple income streams because uh, a lot of YouTubers do recommend this. And it is really important not to just put all your eggs in one basket, making sure you have multiple income streams. And uh, if you are interested in more about that, we can definitely do another video of how you can have multiple income streams to in order to cover your bills. But that was where I started my, uh, my online career, I guess you could say. And uh, because of that, I was able to create a Google AdSense account through my website. Uh, so for me, I was able to have that AdSense account already set up before I was able to apply for monetization. So I think this is definitely a 
handy tip if you do have a website or a blog or something that you can create revenue from um, I would definitely recommend having an AdSense account already set up in order to increase the speed of the application process once you have meet, met those requirements. So if we run through these dates uh, at about January the 27th I received my first 1000 subscribers and I was super happy about that I couldn't believe that it only took me about three weeks to receive those and it was truly amazing the kind of response I was getting I was getting around about 50 subscribers a day uh, which made my 1000 subscriber mark that much easier to reach but as I said to reach those 4000 watch hours unfortunately it did take me quite a bit longer um, I was hoping that they were going to really ramp up at that stage I had only about 1000 watch hours uh, but I needed another 3,000 and it took a lot longer than unfortunately I wanted it to take uh, as I said that was about 18th of January and I didn't in fact receive the 4,000 watch hours about a week ago uh, so early April I managed to receive my 4,000 watch hours so I didn't receive my watch 4,000 watch hours until about early April uh, as you can see here uh, that was my watch hours in minutes and hours of when I actually received that threshold. And as you can see, I did actually get slightly higher than the requirements, but the main goal here was to reach that requirement. Another thing people kind of forget is watch hours are about 72 hours behind. So when you've actually reached it, <laughs> your watch hours will keep kind of boosting up, especially if you are posting it daily. So that's just something to be aware of. You are always going to be about 72 hours behind from your YouTube analytics. Uh, so that's just something to be wary of with the monetization page. Uh, it won't update as it updates every day, but it's about 72 hours behind in terms of those accurate hours. As I briefly talked about before, uh, you want to have your AdSense account set up as early as possible. Uh, for myself, that was doing it through my website and for others, they've done it through blogs and very, very similar things. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because you want to have your AdSense account set up as soon as possible to really speed up that process when you finally do get approved and can apply for the YouTube Partnership Program. Let's talk a bit more about how AdSense works, the process that you need to do in order to be to apply for it, and uh, how long this takes and all of that kind of stuff. And as you can see here, my AdSense account was already set up before I was able to apply for the YouTube Partnership Program. Now, there's a few things that you do need to do in order to uh, apply, well, there are a few things that you need to do to have your AdSense account set up. Uh, it is a little bit time consuming and this is another reason why you want to take advantage if you can set this up earlier i definitely would recommend it now a lot of youtubers do say that you can set this up earlier with another uh you can just set up an adsense account before you reach the requirements now they their videos are a bit outdated unfortunately you cannot apply for an adsense account through your youtube channel until you've met those requirements it just doesn't unfortunately let you so that's something to be aware of. A lot of videos are about a year or so old and they're a little bit outdated with how YouTube does this. I guess for whatever reason, they don't want people applying for uh, applying for an AdSense account too early when there's no need for it and it's gonna kind of affect the process of application. So there's, there's uh, a few process that you need to take through. The first one is your address. You need to verify that you actually are a human being and they will send you a little postcard uh, verifying, just a little verification code on it proving that you do in fact live at that address. Now it's quite funny, a lot of YouTubers when they do this video, you'll see them holding up their card and that's basically what it is. That's that's what you receive in the mail with your verification code, proving that you do in fact live at that address and you are a human being. Now for me, this did take a little about two or so weeks, uh, depending on where you live in the world and things like that, it is going to affect how long it takes for you to receive that. So unfortunately it is a little bit of a time consuming process, but this is just what it takes to have your AdSense account all set up and ready to pay you out when you have received the fresh shop. So the next step is you have to give them your bank information. So you need to fill out your bank details, where you want the money to be paid and all of that kind of stuff. And how it works is they send you pennies, one cent, two cent, five cents. And you just have to verify what the amount was that they sent you. This generally takes overnight and you just punch in that number that verifies that it is in fact your bank account number and that just confirms once again that is your bank account number and you're a real human being and lastly you do need to fill in your tax information now how youtube works and how google works is you do have to deduct your tax yourself but for whatever reason they still do require your tax information just to kind of verify you are who you say you are 
and all of that kind of process. Now, as you can imagine, they do run a pretty tight ship and it is quite a process. This is another reason why you really want to take advantage if you can set up an AdSense account that much faster. I would highly recommend it because it's going to help you in the long run to increase your uh, process of getting approved and having that all set up that much faster. Uh, like I said though, you can only do this if you have a blog or a website. Unfortunately, if you just have a YouTube channel, uh, you will have to wait until you've reached that requirements before you can set up an AdSense account. So that's something to think about, but if you can do it earlier, I would highly recommend it because as you can imagine, you have to set up your bank info, your address, tax information, all of that kind of stuff just takes time. So you really want to try to increase that by uh, having that already set up and ready to go because why not? If you can do it now, I would highly recommend doing it now to make sure that you can get paid that much soon. Okay, so we're going to talk about the tips of how you can grow, grow your YouTube channel and uh, just some really things that you may not have thought about or you may have heard of before, but they're just really great ways to really increase your uh, output and making sure that you can get that goal that much faster. Uh, I myself, it did take me a little while, it took me about four months to reach those requirements. And if I had known these secret tips, then I believe I probably would have reached it that much faster. Now tip number one is you actually do need to ask for subscribers. You may have found when you look at your analytics, you'll probably find that a large percentage of your viewers aren't actually subscribed to your channel. So there's nothing wrong with asking for people to subscribe. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to the channel right now and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. So that is a great way of taking advantage of people who are watching your channel. Make sure that you do ask them to subscribe because there's nothing wrong with asking for subscribers. It's going to help you get there that much faster and I would highly recommend asking for subscribers because you really do need to remind people and uh, really kind of convince them or advise them that they should subscribe and here's why they should subscribe to get your 1000 watch hours that much faster. So definitely one thing to remember is make sure that you do ask for subscribers. And in regards to watch hours, one thing that a lot of people forget or they don't really think about is making sure that your videos are actually at least 10 minutes long. Because in the long run, longer videos means more watch time, which means more minutes, which means more hours. So as you can imagine, you do wanna make sure that you're taking advantage of this and making sure that each video is at least 10 minutes long. There's other advantages to this as well that we will run through shortly, but just one thing to remember, the longer your videos are, the more watch hours you'll get. And we're going to run through exactly why having a longer video is going to help you in the long run. It's going to give you more watch hours, but it's going to actually be really good once you can put ads on your videos. And we're going to talk about exactly how that's going to actually improve your 4,000 watch hours, your 240,000 minutes, and we're gonna run through that right now. Now, of course, while you're waiting for this to happen, it does take time. And if you wanna take advantage of the situation and really kind of use it to your advantage, of course, don't just sit around and do nothing. You have the opportunity to really increase your YouTube channel. You can update the settings and do all of that kind of stuff to really help make it better. Now, one of the things that I did that I would recommend doing is making sure that you actually have a look at your monetization settings and update those so that they are accurate and all ready to go for when you have your requirements and you can monetize your videos. Now one of the really cool features that you can see here when you run through is you can choose whereabouts you want to place each ad on your video. Now this does come down to the length of the video which we'll run through shortly but you can choose whereabouts in the video that you actually run your ads. And the second thing is you can choose what kind of ads you want to run on your video. So there's overlay ads, there's display ads, there's the skippable ads, which you generally see at the start of a video, but they can be throughout the video as well. I would say skippable videos are probably the ones that you would see the most of, and is probably one of the ones that make the most amount of money. So make sure that you have skippable ads on there. You'll also have non-skippable ads, as you can see, and there's just all sorts of ads that you can use. I would highly recommend doing 80 to 100% of these just because, well, it means more money, so why not? And I like to use the skippable ads and also the non-skippable ads because I find they are the ones that earn the most revenue. Now, going back to where we have discussed longer videos. Now, like I said, this is going to help your watch hours get in there that much faster. But another really cool thing is if your videos are over 10 minutes long, it allows you to put ads in the middle of your video. Now, unfortunately, if your video is only nine minutes long or even nine minutes and 59 seconds, that means you can only have an ad at the start of your video and possibly at the end of your video. 
and maybe some overlay ads during the video, but you're not able to put ads in the middle of your videos. So that's the really another reason to have longer videos. It allows you to put ads between or in the middle of your videos and you can actually choose exactly when you want those ads to play in order for a way that you think people are more likely going to watch those ads and of course it just means more revenue so it's a great reason to have longer videos but coming back to what we said earlier in the video it also will increase your watch hours now if we look at it like this let's grab our calculator here and if we take uh, 4,000 watch hours and we calculate that that's 240,000 minutes so if we take 240,000 minutes and we divide that by a say a 10 minute video which means you would need 24,000 views in order to reach that 4,000 watch hours now when you break it down that really doesn't sound so bad now of course we can't assume that uh, everybody's going to watch our video for 10 minutes but it gives you a really good example when you break it down it really doesn't sound that crazy to achieve that goal now of course if we take a very similar example if you did a shorter video let's say a four minute video we take 240,000 divide that by a four minute video and that would be 60,000 views that you would need in order to reach that 4,000 watch hours now as you can imagine I would prefer the 24,000 views as opposed to 60,000 views because that's going to take me a lot longer so you can really see the advantages of why you want to create longer videos because in the long run they are going to give you more minutes which brings more watch hours and means you'll reach that goal that much faster so I would highly recommend that you make sure your videos are at least 10 minutes long if not longer if possible but making sure that the content is actually really good as well is also really really important and the other handy tip I would recommend is use the advantage of live streams YouTube has created live streams for a reason they're now on Instagram they're now on Facebook they are everywhere they're going to be on LinkedIn the reason that people are putting their efforts and money into these is because they actually work the really cool thing about a live stream is when you post a live stream it actually updates it notifies every single subscriber that you have whereas when you post a video YouTube chooses who it actually notifies so that's another really handy tip in order to get more views and get those 4,000 watch hours that much faster using these helpful tips that are going to get you there that much faster. So guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, it was definitely really fun to make and I do like making videos that are gonna help you guys to reach your goals that much sooner. We'll run through exactly what it takes in order to be monetized on YouTube and the amazing ways that you can make that that much faster and hopefully do it even faster than I did because I didn't know these tips when I started. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe because this channel is all about building your brand, business, and image online through social media marketing. And we're all about how you can make money online, make a side hustle, and hopefully quit that nine to five job that we all hate. So if you found this video uh, relatively helpful, and if you did make it all the way to the end, congratulations i really appreciate it if you do want to see more videos just like this one uh, we can run in depth more details of how to actually reach those 1000 subscribers that much faster and just some helpful tips of how it can all be done that being said guys i hope you guys do have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the next video peace out